Look, real quick, before we get this week's episode started, just know that Tuesday, September 22nd, that's this Tuesday coming up, is voter registration day. Make sure you got yourself registered. Make sure you check your status. And also, make sure you spread the word. We have to vote. It matters. Welcome back to another episode of The Coalition of Color. If you're new to our channel, we're all about progressing, advancing, and developing our community. One of the ways in which we do that is by highlighting black businesses. This particular episode was amazing to me. I used to say that I didn't have a creative bone in my body, but if you've seen previous episodes, you know that that simply isn't true. We're innately creative. Uh, so if art is your thing, even if art's not your thing, if you're interested, if you got children, if you know people with children who, you know, just need something to do or anything like that, check out this episode. You won't be disappointed. Shamar Higgs created the space of free art for all in Greenbelt, Maryland, and is doing big things. Phenomenal, phenomenal space. Enjoy. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Melody. Oh no, fuck. Uh, the coalition of color, my brother, rock your crown. I'm here to show you the power inside the color brown. Now's the time to open up your mind to what they tried to hide from the real royalty. Open up your chakra from your brain to your feet and really realize what's inside and believe. Got God on my side and I ride with the queen as we travel on this journey. I'm going to show you what I mean when you open up your eyes when you know what your worth is never no surprise spirit of the sun navigating stars times are getting better when you feel them getting hard like welcome back kings and queens we are here with my great friend shaymar Higgs at the space free art for all and we're going to talk to him a little bit about his business shaymar <laughs> this is professional, right? I don't know. I just like to have fun sometimes, especially this place is so energetic. I just, it, it, yeah, just like to have fun in here. Why not? Absolutely. So, what is this place that we're in? So, in regular times, this is a community like art and maker space. Uh, it's a full-on art studio, like tech maker space. Anyone, anyone from the community can just drop in and come and create. Um, and since Corona came to visit us, right. um, so now we are a like community art studio still, but uh, it's for art pickup. So you can just you know come by, pick up your art supplies. Um, we have like different like, art events and activities and stuff online. Um, yeah, so some of our regular programming is still available. It's just virtual now. That sounds awesome. Okay, <laughs> so specifically for maybe these parents that are at home that yeah. have art projects. I know when I was helping my nephew with his art. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there were so many things on that list. Like they had things that you could choose it from, but it was all very. You know like me, I'm artsy fartsy, yeah. so I have all of that stuff. But your average parent, yeah, they do not. Yeah, so have no idea what that stuff what is. What can they come here to get for school supplies? So, like, yeah, literally any kind of school supply that you need. Like, well, art supply that you need, like right. we have it here. Like when it comes, it's if it's paper crafts, glues, tape, you know, scissors, pencils, crayons, markers, um, knitting, crocheting. Um, yeah, just tons Everything. of different types of papers, si different scissors, cutters. You can, if you, you know, you can borrow it. We'll, we trust you. It's a like whole honor system here. It's really about community. Like that's the biggest thing that I wanted to like establish here. Every third Saturday, you can come by and pick up art supplies from here at the space. Um, okay. Like during our, we have like COVID hours. So check our website, check Facebook to find out like our actual hours. Okay, so what made you want to start this business? This one? Um, so yeah, like you, way back like this this is my garage this is my basement and garage like this all started like back in middle school for me like it, it's this is um this is a long journey like, you know um so yeah i had a community art space in my like mother's garage it was a two a two car garage and we turned it into like a ceramic painting photography gardening um and so like a lot of people would ask about like like how did you get started really and i said like from the beginning it's like having a community like having like a team and friends mm -hmm. that really like support each mm -hmm. other um and that's how like i really got started and like a couple of my friends that like they're doing amazing things in the art world right now like hello uh, or like and they're like in their like creative or like professional or whatever like mm -hmm. they've like that self-actualization and it's very Absolutely. few places that like as a creative as like a creative of color it's very few places that you have like space to actually like self-actualize mm -hmm. um, and i just wanted to create like that kind of thing like you, you come in here like it's 
it's welcoming to everyone, but it's like it's very like pro like right. <laughs> it's pro right. like right. like our, you know the community like you know you come in you see the kente you see mm -hmm. the you know like you see all those like black americana things like some of the people like the like grandma you know like parents and stuff will come in and be like hey what do you know about aunt jemima like yeah like this is the stuff that like um like i gr saw growing up and i remember like working for the african american the prince george's african american art museum mm -hmm. i did a lot of research on like this black representation and like pop culture mm -hmm. and that was the biggest thing that just like destroyed me that like mm -hmm. we don't have like much positive representation and like the little bit of representation that we have it's you know like it's a lot of this it's the stereotypes right. for the most part right um and then it's like if we create it it's like we create the stereo we like we keep adding to that stereotype Correct. Um, right. So like yeah, and the whole like, black exploitation thing was, it really changed my entire life. Um, sweet sweet backs badass revenge or a uh, sweet 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 backs badass song mm -hmm. by M Marvin Van Peoples, Melvin Van Peoples, Melvin Van Peoples. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's mm -hmm. an amazing like shtick, like um, s satire on like black exploitation. Wow. Um, and yeah, it, it's just it, it's we it's gotta genius. check that out. We really do. We just did an episode on. Um, appropriation versus appreciation yeah right yeah. because you see people like uh elvis presley doing oh uh pound yeah, he... <laughs> that was big mama well, even, song. even his whole like his whole like move the whole move, his, right, whole, his right. whole body the is whole, like the whole shit yeah like it c comes back to why this kind of thing is important we, like we need we it, we deserve to have a place that you know like that we see ourselves mm -hmm. and i see ourselves in more than just the stereotypes because growing up i didn't see no one that looked like me anywhere right. like right anywhere right um so it's like when you when, when you're in that kind of position it's like what the hell do i do right or what do i do like right. what, yeah like what, what what is there like what is there what, what model is there to roll right. like if i don't see myself right. or don't see anything how can i accept me as me if i can't see a representation of me yeah and, and then when the i world. got well, then when i got older it's like oh shit maybe they were around but they just looked different like mm -hmm. the the the, per the human that like i respect the most is james baldwin like that mm, man is like big <laughs> one big one that I we didn't... weren't taught about no though. oh your very corpses now begin to speak i can't depend on the american moral credit to save some of the people whom i love but you don't have that moral credit no you told yourselves and us for all these years nothing but lies because no matter what i say no matter what Martin said, the despair in the ghetto, the despair throughout the country accumulates with every hour. People are, people are uptight about Stokely now because he said black power. No one is concerned about white power, which is now wiping out Southeast Asia. No one is concerned about the white power, which keeps my children in the ghetto, which does not educate my children, except to become inferiors. This is power. And when the Republic reacts as it did to the linking of the two words, power and black, is a confession of what the country has done with its power. That's on purpose, because if you teach us about that stuff, we're going to have too much power. Mm -hmm. And I know, mm -hmm. I've seen what it's done to like the people that I work with. Mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna... <laughs> Ditto, right? Ditto. Um, Ditto. But yeah, like, I mean, that's just part of like the, the, the way to like keep people... Um... Dasa, I think. You said it, not me. <laughs> so where are we? So we're in Greenville, in, mm -hmm. in Beltway Plaza Mall. Uh, we're right. right in front of the AMC. They're not open yet, but we're we are right in front I of. I know you guys know where that's at. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're in Beltway Plaza Mall. We're like, if you park right by the movie theater, you can come right to the doors and you know, like, get here. You know, you can drop off donations too. We definitely appreciate that. That's how we survive around here. Right now. Like when I say I started this from like supplies for my house and friends that like you know like in the community mm -hmm. that yeah this is this is and then like many like other people started like donating things that like heard about it the newspapers and stuff mm -hmm. um but yeah like this is a full-on community spot so yeah if you if you help us out we um this non-profit we survive under like ten thousand dollars like under, yeah under ten thousand dollars like i said follow us on instagram um this, go ahead and give us that instagram oh name. yeah the the space for, for all is our instagram uh, facebook is the same thing um yeah like all that stuff like down there mm -hmm. so. you mentioned earlier uh skate park tell me a little oh, yeah. bit about that i started out as like one of the community members and we built the skateboard park in clinton maryland across the regional park if you haven't been there, I highly recommend it. Like it's going through, a, it's gone through a whole facelift. Like mm -hmm. we have like water fountain there, we have tarps, mm -hmm. we have yeah like awnings, we have uh, benches and stuff in there. But yeah. Gorgeous guys, go check it out if you haven't been to Costco Park. There is a skate park there. It's the largest, the largest outdoor park. I think it's still that has that title in um, in the area, and especially mm -hmm. like the one in our in like Parks and Rec. 
Um, so yeah, it's a really beautiful skate park. It's, you know, go big or go home, but skateboards, bikes, scooters, right. all of those are welcome. What advice would you give to new millennials aspiring to start their own business? Community. Community is really important. Like having a team, um, because like in, no one's an island. Mm -hmm. um, and like real talk, I'll, like, I, I've come really close to like burnout so many times with like just trying to do everything on my own. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like you have to have a whole team to like help you out because if not, you're gonna die. Right. Like, <laughs> you can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself, guys. Yeah, no, before your business even like gets a chance, you're gonna like completely burn out and you won't be able to like, it's gonna die. Right. Um, so yeah, like having a, commu a community and you're gonna run out of resources if it's like people, you know, like social resources, like whatever, like you're gonna like come to a ceiling. So it's like, it's always good to have like a collective and it's really, really important and like have fun with it. You right. know, like don't, don't like, it's a lot of pressure trust me i beat myself up about it a lot but like it's a lot of pressure um especially with like social media and stuff to like mm -hmm. do all of these things mm -hmm. <laughs> but like seriously like if you don't if you don't enjoy the process when you get to that point again you're gonna be you're, you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna real fulfilled. you're not gonna be feel you're not gonna realize you got there Bye. A again like i'm only speaking from experience like i've gotten to points and it's like oh wow i did hit that milestone <laughs> <laughs> just kind of passed you by right? yeah like oh that that happened because yeah like i'm so like because, because you get so lost mm -hmm. in the like everything else the little things that are happening that you forget that like the little victories that are happening yeah. that are like, that you're achieving yes. along the way yeah. all right what motivates you to keep going because i know you said there are some ups oh. there are some downs yeah i mean Those downs can be hard we, what keeps you going the, 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 the people honestly okay. it's the, the 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 people that reach out that that come here the volunteers like what the the impact that it's had on their life mm -hmm. um and just yeah the, the the individual stories that happen here that um and the individual like milestones that okay. you see that that like again self-actualizing right. um there's a brother that used to come here regularly that unfortunately he like fourth of july he mm -hmm. was a, he was murdered um like right behind us so like that's the kind oh of like gosh. this is yeah it's, um, but nevertheless um one of the brothers and he like he came here he's like he's like i've never made anything out of in my life he's like outside of like my kids and he's my age you know he's, well, he's right, 31. Right. outside of having kids he's like i've never made anything in the entire he's life never been creative yeah but he made like these this pillow this red skin pillow like right. he literally he walked by saw me like folding fabrics and uh -huh. he, he's like i'm going to be back tomorrow wow. like, i've never seen this guy before he's like, <laughs> i'm going to be back tomorrow yeah and he, he literally like came back came back and every couple of days like every time they would go through the mall like he would stop by he and his kids would stop by say hello come back get some candy and like keep on going uh, or just like wow. and you can see like the difference in the kids also like when they have when they have people like um not saying that we're like all that special here <laughs> but no. like when you have people like the space the space yes. for sharing positive artistic yes. and creative energy and like that stuff that's our whole thing <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a, it's, it's a, it's I a like whole, that. it's a whole idea. It's a, it's, you know, like, it's more than just, like, this physical thing. And that's what, like, took me so long to, like, conceptualize, like, what would this look like virtually? Because, mm -hmm. like, how do you take this high energy yes, place yes, yes, <laughs> and put it online? Yes, yes, all of this. Yeah, yes. yeah. But when, you, when you interact with someone of a higher frequency, you only want to, like, achieve that as well. You only mm -hmm. want to, like, obtain that. Even if it's, like, just for a moment. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just a feeling. Like, even mm -hmm. if it's just the experience that you want to, like, know what it is. And, like, but, um... Yeah, like it's just giving people an, an opportunity to have an outlet and learn new things, meet amazing people, meet new people, and just like get an outlook on life that they would have never ever imagined. Um, and for me, like Southeast Asia, my trip, like I did what like, 33 days in Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. went through Southeast Asia, that completely changed my life. Mm -hmm. um, and because like first of all, I saw what poverty was. Second of all, I saw like well, I saw let's see, a, a different level of poverty. Mm -hmm. I saw an extremely different level of poverty where like kids are excited or people in general are excited to get an, a, a dollar bag of fruit, like mm. just like off the street, you know. Right. So I saw poverty and I saw what like art and community looks like. Mm -hmm. Like even if it is just on the ground level, like um, the, yeah, the community mm -hmm. they definitely like they'll they'll scam you because there's every like you're an American, we right. we all gonna get you, like, right? Absolutely. Sorry. That means wealth. I respect that. Right? Yeah, I respect that too. <laughs> Especially given knowing who we are as Americans, you know? Yeah, I could kind of respect that. But yeah, right. like, um, yeah, just like world travel, I think that's another one that's like really important. It's like grounded me, like helped me find mm -hmm. you. Like, and, Agreed. Um, Agreed. World travel. I think it was Baldwin that, that mentioned like the, the role of the artist is to, uh, 
is to like go out into the mountain top or yeah it's like go to the mountain top and come back and share what he's learned mm -hmm. um and it's very like very much aligned with like buddhist like thought i believe mm -hmm. um what i've what i've learned and um and it's like in this time of like unrest um like Thich Nhat Hanh and, and you know like these these Buddhist thought leaders and you know like Martin Luther King they were like really great friends so like mm -hmm. why can't we come together like I see a huge boom I have to give them a sh give them a shout out I don't know them personally but Black Boys Om is mm -hmm. like a yoga like yoga group for black men oh, um, like I wow. just like the the mission the motive like they, they're doing great things you know they have like local events and stuff in, in Bowie wow. at the Bowie Town Center and stuff but yeah it's just like there, there are resources out here that a lot of people don't know and that's another yes. thing that we have like check out our website from like seriously like they have no like at home testing they'll send you like at, like at home like hiv and like STD oh, wow, testing really? and stuff. yeah they, you do it at home they'll they'll email it back and they'll send it back to you yeah like the food pantries like everything there's so many things like on our website, website um freeartforall.org and if you click on resources boom it's a full list Click on what you're looking for at a drop down, go to the website. Yeah, it's so many things that are out here that again we just don't know about until right. unless you're in that circle. Right. Um and yeah, I just I've just been like I guess lucky or blessed to like kind of put myself or like ask or like ask the universe or like mm -hmm. um also yeah, like just like having again this connection with like building networks mm -hmm. is really important. So yeah, it's just you know this this thing is hard it's this this journey again, like you know, it's it's not this is not a natural environment, you know? Mm -hmm. So again, like, that's why the community is, is very important mm -hmm. to like, have those people that like, you know, like minds around you. All right, kings and queens, you heard it here. All right, freeartforall.org. Go get those resources. We're gonna so yeah, we have a couple of ways that you can donate. Like, um, we have been, yeah, our community is extremely supportive and we have, we now have like a number from our like, management our leasing manager you mm -hmm. know leasing managers property managers mm -hmm. um so that we can get a bigger space so that's awesome. what we're like yeah that's what we're like putting everything from now on it's going to pretty much go it's going to go toward like us getting a new space okay um because we're only 394 square feet right now mm -hmm. so we can only have like two and a half people in here right. legally legally right <laughs> so um yeah two and a half <laughs> So we, we need a much larger space right. so that we can have like, again, have these programs. Uh, we have a program coming up with the um, Greenbelt Library. We're gonna mm -hmm. have like, you can come in and use the computer. Mm -hmm. So you have like Wi-Fi, you nice. have like Wi-Fi yes. tables. So yes. anyone just, you just need a break again. Yes. Like, Need to, need to get away from home. Space to get away. Yeah. You won't be kicked out like they kick you out in Starbucks. Okay, <laughs> you come here. Feel free to live your life. Just don't, don't your, stay too whatever. long. <laughs> don't stay too long. We close the seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, how, how can people donate? Yeah, so um, on our website, there's, of course, like a whole like donates page. You can donate through, uh, we now have a text to donate. You can text uh, Free Art for All to 44321. Yeah, Free Art for All to... 44321 and you can uh, donate to us that way mm -hmm. um, and you can also donate to us through Facebook there's a fundraiser okay. going on on there you can join our group and you'll see it on there and the Facebook name is the space for art for all um, and you can also donate to us on cash app which is donate free donate free art for all and then dollar sign, donate. yeah dollar sign donate, donate free, free art for free. all and then um, on PayPal me you can also donate to us on there like paypal.me slash donate free art for all um, awesome. So awesome. yeah, we're, 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 you know, the whole thing for us is like, seriously like, just to like give back. Like we have, we've given out about 300 art kits so far. Um, we were oh yeah, tell me about these art kits. What's in this art kit? So yeah, so this for September, I'm really excited about September. Uh, so yeah, we have like, it's based into like three different themes. Mm -hmm. It's um, art, tech, and wellness. Okay. Um, so you can choose one or all three if you want. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the art, it's going to have a like, so we have like our coloring pages, like every month is something different. It's like representative of like what's happening in the culture or what's happening in like the like world, you know, heritage days or mm -hmm. months and stuff like that. Latinx, you know, heritage month, like check it out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just, uh, we have coloring pages. We have, uh, what do we have? Is oh. it the wellness? Uh, oh no, we have coloring pages, diffuser butterflies, or like oh, little oh, tie-dye right, right, butterflies. Right. And, um, but yeah, then we have a new like coding class. So anyone that's interested coding. in like Python coding, we have the option available. Uh, so not only Python, but if you're like even earlier and like we have Scratch, uh, we have okay. a partnership with Google also okay. and you can like, we have the information you can just log in and it's free classes on how to code. And this is big guys. I, they don't give up free coding classes. No. Okay. like and, and I have several friends that are like in that like world and I can, 
Yeah. To they make, make good money. To make that salary. <laughs> to make that salary. Like, it, yeah. And, like, to tra be able to travel. Like, that's the biggest thing. Again, like, world travel is really important. So, like, to like, be able to work anywhere in the world is extremely important for, like, like future for me. Um, and I think that, like, for future for, our, like, people in, like, our community in general, like, we should really, like, get out of being so comfort mm -hmm. comfortable and like mm -hmm. learning that there's much more out here and like that this is a like this place is kind of like a playground right so <laughs> so just in case people don't know i know they know the word coding but sometimes when you hear words you're afraid to ask oh what does that what does entail that yeah. right what does that mean yeah so just for those people that don't know isn't that like uh apps well, you, you, you can, can code apps, you can code games, you can, right? Well, what I, kind of say, coding are we talking about? Let's say, about? like, starting out with, like, coding, like, how to make words move on the screen. Right. Or how to make, starting like, a, simple. Yeah, a picture move on a screen. Right. Or, like, um, how to make, uh, yeah, just, like, how to d move things on a website. Right. Like, how to set up a website. Um, you know, like, come on. Like, I was asking a, a, a designer buddy of mine, like, for... You know, well, not even, yeah, I was asking an art buddy of mine, like, how much we should charge for a website. And she's like, well, you know, for you, what you're looking for about $2,000. So, like, just let's save yourself $2,000 and just learn. Like, seriously, it's, it's, again, if you need resources, reach out, call, text, email, smoke signals, whatever you want to do. <laughs> like, I'm a human being, like, you know. <laughs> I love it, Shay. You guys literally provide any kind of creative thought bubble that you have yeah. in your bone you can do it here you can yeah. get a resource to do it here you can have a contact to talk to to do it and here. we have people we know people yeah like i have yeah and he it's has just a even, network. even being here like we've met so many people and uh yeah we have like this this we have a 14 year old like guru mm -hmm. um like this kid is is a genius mm -hmm. it, it, like yeah encoding encoding like he, he knows like four computer languages like sound engineering like is this thing um yeah he's 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 on it and uh, he's the one that's actually teaching our coding class, and I'm really excited. He, again, on our website, you can see the video. He made the video himself. I'm really proud of like this kid. Ob is, is a genius. Hello, my name is Ob. I am a high school intern at a makerspace in the Beltway Plaza Mall in Greenbelt, Maryland. Sometimes I think I'm not a great artist, but I've always been interested in programming, so this year I'm going to bring the skills I've learned into the community to teach others the skills they need to make art with code. I would be doing this in person at the space, but because of COVID, we are working to take the space to you. What I'm going to do is every two weeks, I'll make a video covering a new programming concept, and then at the end of that, I'll show you how to make art using all of the code skills you've learned. If you're interested, that's great! Learning how to code can open a ton of new doors to art projects that would be extremely time consuming to do by hand, plus it's a ton of fun. That coding class is for free? It's for free. On our website, literally, just go on the website, check out the video, send Ob an email, he'll hook it up for you, for free, <laughs> all ages. Um, and yeah, in real life, we have like some of our volunteers who are older, they're like mm -hmm. in their 60s. They're awesome. doing the coding class too. Like, <laughs> so so like, <laughs> it's never too late, guys. It doesn't yeah. matter what age you are. Come on down and check it out. It's a virtual world. You can work from anywhere yeah. and you don't, don't come on down. <laughs> Get online. <laughs> Give us, seriously, call, text, email. The numbers are online like we're, we are not hard to get a hold of you know like again we're all human beings here so you know like and if we're not here just slide a little note through the door and you know we'll get it all right tell me um i know we're running low on time but last thing tell yeah. me about the wellness package the, oh wellness so that's a really huge one on thanks it. for thanks for reminding me about that yeah that's a really big one because um we didn't get a chance we were we, we this would have, been, would have been our second year partnering with NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, or Mental Illness um, the Prince George's County chapter. And that was a really beautiful like partnership because we had like a huge like artwork for wellness like expo in the middle of the mall. Like lots of resources, lots of we had, like nine different art activities for the community that were like all like therapeutically based. Mm -hmm. um, but this year we couldn't do that. So what we did and incorporated the wellness into all of our kits because we were doing journalist journal like events anyway. Mm -hmm. So you know, but yeah. Our art kits, they're going to have little, um, we reused little like iPhone cases. Um, <laughs> I love that. If anyone, so if anyone, you, when, you, when you see them, if anyone else has some, we, we can use them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the cute little like iPhone ca cases. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they have like some tea, a sort of tea in it, some herbal tea, um, some honey sticks. Um, some white sage and some instructions on like what's you know what to do with white sage um, and that kind of thing like how to use it and then we're gonna also have like the med virtual meditation so uh, yeah I've like got my meditation certification so yeah I'm gonna be doing some like virtual meditations if you haven't seen it already on like, his Instagram my personal Instagram Shamar WH 
And uh, yeah. They are amazing. I'm sorry. They're amazing. <laughs> you can meditate with him, and he has the most calming and soothing, if you can't already hear, voice. Okay, oh, he thanks. does an amazing job, so definitely check it out. It's weird hearing your own voice. So. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So Especially I when you're meditating, right? Yeah, so that's why I just like do the record. That's why I, enjoy, I love the like live things. I record it and like done. I don't right. have to edit it. I don't have to look <laughs> at it. That's the worst thing, like recording stuff and like hearing your voice like for hours mm -hmm. editing. Like what? I hate it. You think I don't know? <laughs> I hate it. All right. So what do you have? This yes. is um, yeah. This is this is the space. This is uh, you know like check us out online. We're you know like I said, we're human beings here. We're easy to reach. All right. Well, you heard it first here. Definitely a place where you can express your artistic creativity for right now during COVID. Definitely check it out online. We will have all that in the description below. Um, so check it out. And thanks for coming back and taking it off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is he doing? <laughs> thanks for coming back and hanging out with us here at The Space. Free Art for All. Peace. you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? Out for all is our Instagram. Uh, Facebook is the same thing. Um, yeah, like all that stuff, like down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peace. Back hands and clothes.